get more jabs. Perfect coasting a bit here in the seventh round. Sykes was beginning to use the ring a little bit more. And he catches perfect with the right hand, but as in the past, much of the steam has gone out of the punches of a tired Snipes. shots by Burbick was to the left side of the body of Snipes a moment ago. Another one. Snipes in trouble. 50 seconds. Round seven. Burbick is smart. Cake. Tired as he is picking his shots a little better than Snipes is. 25 seconds. That flush right hand didn't seem to bother Burbick. The bell in a moment. There's the man that got Mr. Burbick earlier to call Ronaldo Snipes Mr. Snipes because he knocked him down in that first round. And he is fighting his fight up to this point as we're in the eighth round. He has been moving forward. Burbick in the past has not fought well backing up. He is, yes, a good counter puncher. And I might add, as they went back to their respective corners, they were almost duck waddle walks which indicates they're tired. But in the last round, as he's doing right now, you see Snipes getting back up on his toes, moving around a little bit more, seemingly fresher. Scoring by the round system. You either win or lose a round. In the case of a tie of a round, you use the supplemental five-point must. Five to the winner, more or less to the loser. Two judges. Bill Murray, Richard Murray, excuse me, and Bill Kostrov, and the referee Arthur Mercanti also does the scoring. Snipes gets the movement, then tries to get closer, bends forward, totally uncovered, and that's when Burbick has shots, but can he deliver the punch? Snipes is getting on his bicycle a little bit. Fans are delighted. In a way, it might be taunting Burbick. But I wouldn't taunt Burbick. He's tough. Like there. Shot a high on the cheekbone. Burbick gets you going backward. You're in trouble. As you can see, he's so tired, he really doesn't want to move that much. Taking all the shots, both heavyweights, 216 and a half and 222 and a half. Good defensive work by Snipes. Slipping and ducking punches. About 35 seconds in this round, the eighth. Burbitt took that right hand. Came back with a combination of his own. swollen area under the right eye of Snipes now. The tiny cut in his left eyebrow causing no problem. Except for being knocked down in the first round, Burbick is unmarked. He'll get a rest in about five. This round on paper coming into the fight. It figured to be a good one. A lot of the experts wondered why Burbick would take this fight against Snipes after a big win over Greg Page. But here he is, having been uh, now complaining of being rabbit punched. Snipes pays no attention to it. I'll tell you, they are accepting those punches with unbelievable stamina. Burbick going after Snipes. Trevor 
Peter Burbank, 28 years old, and here in the ninth round and between rounds, obviously he was frustrated. Mercanti, the referee, warning of low blows. Burbick now setting himself, looking uh, a little more serious. Ronaldo has to keep pumping out that jab. Looking to the referee for help, I don't know why. They are absorbing some tremendous punches. Talk about condition. Well, Burbick, 222 and a half. He weighed 218 against Page on the Holmes Cooney card. And against Larry Holmes, Snipes, who's being hit, weighed 215 and three quarters today, 216 and a half. So they are in shape. Obviously, they're on their four feet at the moment. Round nine, coming up to the one minute mark. when you miss punches like Burbick did with that left hook, that is a tiring, frustrating movement. Oh, right on the chin, and Burbick takes it and says, come on, give me some more. He grew up tough in Port Antonio, Jamaica. There was a wise punch which missed an uppercut by Snipes. Very good decision to try to land it because Burbick is an upright fighter. 25 seconds, round nine. Will it go 10? Burbick looks so leg weary, but he must have good legs. seconds in sports. And two tired heavyweights, big fast men, Snipes wobbling back to his corner, sitting down and his adopted father, Reverend Jim Williams, is talking to him. Woo! There is the punch. And uh, you saw the stiffness of uh, Burbick's jab. But Snipes has been giving more movement and uh, he is coherent talking to Bill Prezan and Louis Soria. Keep the hands high is the advice. Larry Holmes has to be impressed with the two men that he defeated. And it was Burbick that went 15 rounds with this undefeated heavyweight champion of the world in Las Vegas. We're looking at him right now. Trevor Burbick deserves the ranking that he has. He is a tough customer because he took some shots. Decked only once. I'm surprised he hasn't gone down once or twice more. But a tired Snipes coming out now for the 10th round. Arthur Mercani brings him together at the center of the ring. So hold on. Three minutes. Burbick doing what his corner said, keeping the gloves up high, the eight-ounce gloves. I would think that the corner of Snipes said, you might be ahead, so be a little more careful, but he isn't. I don't think this is the round to throw to be conservative, because it seems to me it's a close bout, except for the first round when Burbick with his back to us, went down for the mandatory eight. Look at that counter punching. A couple of quick pumping jabs by Snipes, a missed right hand, and Burbick counters. Pop, pop, he snakes, saying exactly that as he throws out his jab. Pop, pop. Moving Burbick backwards, obvious what he wants to do, as he said earlier in our interview, he wants to knock him out. This is the final round. We're coming up to the halfway point of the tenth round. comes out. 
Both of them deserve tremendous credit. Less than a minute now. 